Welcome to Six Figs, I'm Kyle and in today's video we're talking about one application that is absolutely transforming and going crazy in the internet computer ecosystem. This application has caused the internet computer to single-handedly go from an inflationary chain to a deflationary chain almost overnight, folks. I'm talking about blockchain on blockchain or Bob. You can visit bob.fun if you want to check this out or participate. Now, I made a call on Bob the other day, and this is why you guys got to follow me on Twitter at Real Six Figs, that there was a gigantic bull pennant that is forming. This was at a dollar and nine cents, and now Bob is at two dollars and eleven cents, two dollars and seven cents. So almost a hundred percent gains. And we'll also talk about my thirty dollar Bob token uh, theory that could play out. Uh, what is blockchain on blockchain, and what is it doing that's absolutely wreaking havoc on the internet computer? ecosystem in the best way. Well, it's basically a new blockchain built on top of the internet computer. And it's kind of interesting what they are labeling this. So they are calling this a proof of on-chain work um, blockchain. Uh, so it's kind of got its own twist. And the way it works is it allows users to participate in mining blocks on the internet computer. So uh, basically, uh, we are going to create a miner or a smart contract, and that will allow you to, or the miner to, uh, solve hashes or math problems that get sent out from the nodes. Once these miners solve the problems, they send the problems or the solved problems back to the node. And if the solution is correct, the node will reward the miner with a block of, at this time, 600 Bob tokens. And we'll get into some of the tokenomics here in just a second. But this is a very competitive mining operation similar to Bitcoin. And the first miner to solve the problem gets the reward, the Bob tokens. Um, so uh, when we talk about like deploying the miner and things like that, it's very simple. And I've already deployed mine, but you basically will send your ICP to your principal account uh, once you connect your wallet to Bob. And when it comes down to it, you can come over to mining and hell. Let's just go ahead and create a new miner because they only cost uh, one ICP. So we're going to go and create a new miner. You can see that I've got uh, one already going and I've got several others on a, a burner phone. But each block reward is 600 Bob tokens. At this point, you know, we're seeing a $2.07 Bob. So you're looking at 1200 bucks just to solve a reward, which is amazing. And there is a total supply of about 21 million tokens, I believe. Yes, 21 million tokens. And every 17,500 blocks, the reward gets cut in half, just like Bitcoin. And this halving is going to occur approximately every 88 days, according to Bob. You can see that we now have a new miner uh, ready for us. So uh, with that said, we can look at this. We can see that our miner is running. I just want to check my balance. I've got just under two ICP here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to top up uh, this miner here. And basically, um, you know, there's no limit on the amount of miners that you want to spawn or you can spawn. So uh, there is 12,272 miners uh, out there. They've got a leaderboard. You can see all these miners that people have deployed. And it's interesting because they've gotten a lot of Bob tokens as a reward. So at the end of the day, you know, good for them. Uh, we have now topped off um, one of my miners with some 
uh, some cycles. And if you're not familiar with what cycles are, cycles are the gas that the internet computer uses to run. So internet computer is a reverse gas model. This means that users do not have to pay a fee to use applications on the internet computer. The developers pay all of this up front. And uh, you can see how this spike is just parabolic right now. Um, so uh, basically you take your cycles and you top off your canister. Once the canister or this miner runs out of these cycles, the uh, canister will stop mining. So you'll have to constantly dump um, you know, money into keeping this miner running. And uh, one trillion cycles is roughly one US dollar. So I could probably keep these two miners running for about $4 a day. Um, so it's interesting. I think that you could uh, maybe decrease the amount of consumption to a, a trillion or go as high as you want on the consumption limit. I couldn't really find any, um, any limits to that, but there could be. So when it comes down to this $30 Bob token, folks, and keep your eye out for KongSwap because there's probably going to be Bob tokens on KongSwap. And uh, we'll talk about KongSwap Kong another time. But what's up with this uh, $30 Bob token, folks? Uh, really, when it comes down to it, um, if, if we look at something called Elliott Wave Theory, which is a, a pattern that plays out in all of the financial markets. Elliott Wave Theory is a great tool to kind of see where the markets are at and if there are any uh, impulse waves that could be up and coming which are bullish or uh, if there are any corrective waves which are bearish that might be around the, the corner. So one of the, the laws of Elliott Wave Theory is pretty simple. And it's this little span from two to three can never be the shortest wave or shortest span in an impulse wave. I think that we could argue we have the first span already on the books here. And if we just take this little trend line and kind of draw it right up to uh, from the bottom up to the top of this price action, if, and this is a big if folks, if Elliott Wave Theory is playing out here, we don't know if it is or if it isn't until we can look at this bad boy in hindsight. We would know that the, uh, the top of this span from two to three might land us somewhere around this $30 level. And we could see span three to four do something like that. Span four to five could be something very simple like this, or it could be something like this. So I think that right now it's very, very way too early to tell uh, kind of like what's going on with this thing because there is a lot of hype and uh, FOMO right now at this, at this moment. Um, I do think that there could be an opportunity here to see uh, to see Bob maybe run up to this 161.8, somewhere around this $3-ish level. We'll have to wait and see. It's always an interesting, folks, to try to predict these new uh, projects, but um, take this with a grain of salt, right? This is not financial or trading advice, um, but it is a very, very interesting project that is absolutely taking uh, the entire internet computer by storm. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview. It was quick and sweet, and we'll see you guys all on the next video.